Okay, so following on from Carlos's talk, I'm um, looking at adductor longus injuries. Again, it's the same principle. You've got to know your anatomy, you've got to find the anatomy, and you've got to follow it all the way proximal to distal to ensure you don't miss any injury. So all we're gonna do in transverse section, just behind the adductor longus um, tendon, is we're gonna identify the gracilis, which is a really nice soft tissue landmark to start with. If we move slightly anteriorly, we can see the adductor longus muscle, and this is the intramuscular, the proximal intramuscular tendon that um, Carlos was talking about. We're just gonna orientate some other regions. So this is the adductor brevis, and this is adductor magnus. So you can see gracilis at the top, longus, brevis, magnus. If you're not sure, just follow it down. Brevis, if you just follow that down distally, it's a very short muscle and you can see there it goes to a very small column and now all we've got is adductor longus and adductor magnus. Now, we're gonna really scrutinize this adductor longus in cross section. So you can see the muscle belly here. It's really important to toggle the probe to ensure you avoid an isotropy particularly of the tendon, but also the fibers around the tendon. This is the proximal intramuscular tendon. Now, if we follow that down, you'll see it gets smaller and smaller until it disappears. And then we can follow it back up proximally all the way up to the pubis. So you can see it goes from the intramuscular region and it heads up towards the superficial fascia off of the longus just before it attaches on to the pubis and the pubic tubercle. Now you can see the longus getting smaller and smaller and then it attaches onto the pubis. We can also follow that in long section which can be a bit trickier. So if we just rotate the probe you can see the intramuscular tendon there of adductor longus and we can follow that up towards the pubis with lots of gel, a bit of pressure, and then you can see the intramuscular tendon comes down and forms the free tendon and the attachment onto the pubis there. And even in this position here, you can see the three muscles, longus, brevis, and a little bit of magnus there.